What is up guys and welcome back to NPC Vids. In this video I want to show you a few tips about the browsing area. The browsing area is where you can basically get drum sounds and samples into your projects. So it's a super useful place. You'll be in there a lot when you're using your NPC probably so it's really good to know these few little tips which I'm going to share with you. The first one is actually getting to this location. Now there's about four different ways you can do this. The most unintuitive way and the slowest way is to hit the menu button and then click browse at the top. That's pretty slow I think, there's shortcuts that you can use. So these are the shortcuts and it's up to you really which ones you want to assign to your muscle memory. So you can actually just hit the menu button twice, very similar to double click on a keyboard. If you double click that, that takes you to your browsing area. You can also do shift and menu, that takes you to the same location as well. And another tip is if you hold menu, these icons actually apply to the pads on the MPC. So you can see here that browse is basically in the location of pad 16. So while I'm holding menu, if I hit pad 16, that takes me to that area. So for this menu area, if you hold menu and hit any of the pads, it will take you to that location that you can see here. So yeah, let's go into browse. I tend to find that I use shift menu the most. I don't know why, that's just something that I've submitted to my muscle memory. So that's the one I use most of the time. While you're inside here, I just want to point out that the majority of the stuff that I do is through my SD card. So I save my projects to my SD card. I run my projects from my SD card and all my samples are stored in my SD card as well. It's really easy to drop samples onto your SD card. All you have to do is use a computer, drop the folder on with the samples inside and then basically the NPC lets you browse it as you would be able to on a computer it's exactly the same so you can see here i've got projects and drum folders inside there and everything's neatly organized the reason i started saving my projects to my sd card was i read when i got this device that if you keep saving and deleting projects on the internal memory it doesn't delete all the files and the internal memory can become really clogged up now i don't know if this has been patched or fixed since then but i've kind of got a phobia of saving stuff to my internal memory now so i actually save everything to my sd card and then I definitely know that I can format that and everything will be gone and there'll be nothing left on the internal memory. So I've got my projects and drums here and now I'm inside my SPVIDs folder which I've set up. Now you can see here I've got all my different folders for the different packs that I've got. Premium Pack 4 is still in construction. I've just released Hip Hop Drums Volume 1. If you want to go and check that out you can head to spvids.com so if you take a look to the top right of the screen you can see there's folders that say one to five on them these are actually favorite locations and these are super handy you definitely want to get these set up it's really easy to do what you have to do is go to the folder that you want to favorite so let's say i want to favorite hip hop drums volume one don't just highlight it actually go inside that location so i'm inside it now and what you do is you hold shift and click the location where you want to favorite it. So I'm going to choose five here. And then say if I just go to a random other folder like internal, if I then hit five, you can see that it's taken me into hip hop drums volume one. So that's really, really handy and it just makes browsing a lot faster. So the way I've got this set up is I've got uh, my lo-fi drums one, two, three, and four all set up one to four and then that hip hop pack in location five. So I can just flick between them really quickly now and I'm straight into those and it just saves a lot of time. The last little tip I wanted to share, which is super useful, is the audition. So audition is down here and what this basically does is lets you listen to the sample before you import it, which is obviously very, very useful. By default, I believe that you have to press play on every single sample if you want to hear it. That gets really tedious and annoying, especially when you're trying to find, say, a hi-hat to fit your beat and you've got about 100 hi-hats that you're browsing through. So the best thing to do, I think, is hit audition and make sure that auto is highlighted like I have here. And also I would suggest turning it down as well because you don't want to be repetitively listening to loud high pitched noises. That's not going to do your ears any good. So I've got mine set to almost minus 10 dB and I've got that on auto. And what that means is if I go into my kicks, for example, when I start using the jog wheel, You can just hear those automatically without having to press anything so it makes browsing through your sounds and samples much much faster so that's it for this video guys i hope these little tips helped you and i hope they help speed up your workflow don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new around here i drop tips about the npc live usually about once a week sometimes i don't always get the time and sometimes i just post beats so it's all npc content on this channel so if you've enjoyed this one i'm sure you're going to enjoy future videos so yeah please become a subscriber and hit that thumbs up as well that really helps me in the algorithms with youtube but apart from that guys keep making beats and i'll be back with more content tips tricks and beats very very soon peace